Welcome back to another episode of XCOM. Uh, so now we have our alien objections, so let's go uh, see which one we want to do. So we have uh, Birmingham, United States, Cape Town, South Africa, or Fuk... Isn't that where the nuclear reactor exploded in Japan or something? I don't know. Uh, probably not. So our rewards are 200 bucks. Uh, 200 space bucks. Uh, four scientists or four engineers. Engineers are the best thing ever. Uh, and it's going to be a moderate difficulty on this mission, uh, which is good. And um, I'll tell you why in a minute. So let's see who's going to answer the call. Uh, as you can see, I spent my time uh, styling everyone, so we all look pretty uh, pretty ballin'. I figured Mr. Shiv would, would look the most robotic. Uh, and I guess I was going for something Irish with uh, Chevy Chase. And uh, Volkov, I just wanted to make it look cool with the white armor and everything. Uh, this is what I'm doing. Adding rookies. So this is, I guess, uh, Duke Nukem. I think I was going for a Morgan Freeman. Black guy Morgan Freeman kind of a thing. I don't know. And just don't even ask me what. Um, so I bring my sniper because I really want my sniper to get an upgrade. But I'm bringing also three uh, rookies to try and get them to level up as well. Because uh, it, it's really good to level up rookies. If I lose them, it's not a big deal anyways. Even though this is a moderate mission. But uh, let's see how terribly this goes. All right, well, off to uh, Europe. The next deployment site is in the UK. This is a fashion disaster right here. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So apparently they're attacking a con gas station or convenience store or some shit. Because that's apparently where uh, all the interesting things are going on. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Well, here we go and start it off. Uh, so we're gonna move everyone into here. Well, there. Well, no, this is not a convenience store. This is um, I guess this is a a restaurant, Chinese restaurant or something. So, uh, we're taking cover behind this like postal truck or whatever. What kind of, what kind of restaurant is this? Oh, there's like a there's like a picture of a pig on there. Awesome. Oh, this is a butcher shop, I think. Damn, we need to go in the back there. So they, apparently they really like bacon, the aliens. So you know you can't really blame them. That's probably why they came to Earth. Bacon is pretty fucking awesome. All right, so we're gonna move these guys. Okay, this guy can probably just go right here. Hopefully nothing will get triggered. So we bring our sniper out, and we have Overwatch with that on. And actually, since I have the sniper, I can actually talk about a little bit of his abilities. Um, so the sniper rifle is a little bit of an interesting one. So he has a grenade. I kept him with the grenade because I don't have any really other big options. He has that headshot ability you saw earlier. Um, however, he can't actually Overwatch or shoot with the sniper unless it's at the beginning of his turn. So if I move him, I am no longer able to use the sniper rifle. I have to use my pistol. Which is, uh, which is a pretty big deal, and he has to be in range as well. Uh, his first ability when he levels up uh, allows him to shoot from any range, and I'll show you that hopefully if we get that. So um, let's go open, bust open these doors. Actually, I think they're over there. Let's go see what's on this side. Oh, here they are. Uh, are you eating out the dumpsters? What the fuck? All right, so we have one alien at 30%, one at 45%. Um, who can we move up? Okay, so this sniper can get a shot up, 35%. Um, still worth the shot. The reason I did that is I really want him to get a level up. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have to, I don't know. Uh, my other options right now are I could get a flank on this guy, so let's start moving these kids in. Uh, we're gonna move over here. Okay, so we're gonna Overwatch with these two. He's behind full cover, so he should be perfectly fine. They they probably will not want to move. 
And so he's behind the door ready to go and do like a little breach and clear action going on. However... Yeah, we'll be okay. However, since right now, uh, they're melded right now... Fuck life. We're gonna just go and uh, grenade this so he gets two kills. Because it's like the easiest two kills we can possibly ever hope for. For this guy. Grenades are great because it's a 100% chance to kill. And we got both of them. Excellent work. Promotions for everybody. Hopefully. Alright. Well, we're gonna just bust out this door and... Uh, tactical this. All right, we're gonna just uh, cover cover up going up the, our flanks here and uh, see what's down this uh, little uh, alleyway here. Because we need to protect our butchers and our bacon. Okay, um, I'm thinking though that um, it could be something in there, but I think we should go breach this, this back way right here. So let's go actually do that. Uh, let's see. So, we can actually use our turn here, so we might as well do that. We're gonna open this door. Yeah, so apparently no one's in here. That's interesting. Alright, well, we're gonna keep moving everyone up then. Hopefully this doesn't trigger anybody. This is a bit of a risky move, right? Well, actually no, I can just move this guy right here. Never mind. Because I don't know what's on this side. It's a place I haven't explored yet. So, I don't want to risk anything. Alright, so we're hearing them come from over here somewhere, so... Uh, we can move... These two guys... I want to move them to the door, but unfortunately the door is too far away. Okay. Looks like we're in the clear. Oh, I, I didn't quite mean to move them there, but uh... That's okay. Okay, we're just gonna make everyone overwatch. So it's all about safety, you guys. Alright, so sniper rifles out. Have both these guys stack up on the door and open it up. And no one's actually out there. Uh. Okay, well, we're gonna wait our, our turn here. I keep hearing them from over here, so... The thing is, it doesn't really tell you how far they are. So, this will tell us right here. And nobody's there. Pro probably they're in the alleyway again doing some dumpster diving or something. Whatever aliens do. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna make this guy move right. Nonners can go directly into the cover there in Volkov. We'll cover up with the sniper rifle. And nobody's coming out. Sectoids do not like to play nice. Um... I'm not overly concerned with moving out here, so let's go and come over here. Okay, that was not a mistake, so. That's the one thing I don't want to happen, is I don't want to make some sort of error. Where? Oh, whoops, I did not mean to overwatch him. Okay, I was trying to overwatch the other guys. The order of which uh, you switch to people is kind of odd to be honest. So I'm gonna move him all the way. I wanted to move him up here. So he can actually get a- he can technically get a shot on the second floor of people. Okay. So now that he's moved up here, uh, we can go... We can go see what's on the second floor here. And we gotta climb all the way up. Uh, here we go. The prize! Okay. Oh boy. Okay, I can gr I have I have a grenade on two of these guys. And only two. Well, actually I can probably get these two. Where is the last one? The last one's up there. Unfortunately, this means someone's probably going to get flanked, but if I run away, I might get into a worse position. That's my problem. 
And here's the other issue. Not everybody can get a shot off. So, after tactically evaluating the situation, I have decided I'm going down. Actually, I probably could have thrown a, thrown a grenade up there. Actually, I, I can probably still do that. It's like, I, I still remember where they are. Fortunately, nobody has an arm that good. Nope, nobody has an arm that good. Alright. Here's a plan. Everybody on Overwatch. Hopefully they will not be getting a shot off on us. That's everything I've learned about this game says that I think that this, we should be okay. One guy got a shot off. It'll be okay though. Okay. This is a bit of a problem. However, he's behind full cover. That did not matter though. And he's panicked, unfortunately, and he moved into terrible cover. Thanks a lot, my friend. All right. It's all up to the sniper to be the great equalizing factor, and it doesn't look like he's going to do very good. But it's worth a shot anyways. And this is the most fucking amazing sniper I've ever seen. Thank you, Volkov. You're the fucking best. Because that was a really piss poor shot that you had there, but you made it work. That's what matters. All right. Uh, now here's my next problem. So this guy should be safe. He should be okay. He'll just be panicking over there and whatever pissing himself um, Now I need to go get a shot off on that sectoid right there So who how are my odds? Uh, I don't want to go too far into there But I need to take this guy out. So I have a 65 68 percent chance to hit and a grenade if that doesn't work. So that's a that's a solid backup plan to me. And he's dead. And not nutters. That will be uh overwatching for us. And they're doing a bit of movement here. However, no one is doing anything, so. Uh, what we will do is we will hope that they will make the first move. So we will we will remain in Overwatch. They may just decide to fortify their position. We don't really know. But here we go. And I, for some reason, had this guy out on his pistol. I don't know why. That's a mistake you do not want to make too many times. Um, I had two people out with their pistol. Okay, appar apparently we're just gonna like just bad manner him with pistols. And that, he gets a shot off. Uh, that was uh, that could have been a very bad mistake. Let's hope that never happens again. Oh my god. I think this person's gonna die. Yep. Because of my stupidity and I didn't actually have assault rifles out to handle these guys. Uh, Alright. We need to take a shot off. So that was my first mistake. Will not be my last. And we're gonna try and get a pistol off. Excellent job. And so this guy can try and go get grenade in. So that's uh that's good. We'll we'll do that then. And hopefully this is the last guy, so we did lose somebody. We will forever never remember you. I already forgot who you are. <laughs> Wow, the, the thing exploded. So we lost one ex operative. We will forever remember them. The sacrifice will not be in vain because I didn't switch to people's actual main weapons. Well, fuck me. What do you want? Well, we're back at base and we don't like aliens, as it says Commander on the side of our ship. One, one person. Commander to the situation room. Unfortunately, Vol Volkov did not get a, a level up, even though he has like five kills. Uh, Lolling Elpir did get that was Lolling Elpir. My, my my apologies, good sir. You didn't make it because of my dumb mistake. But uh, we got another support, which is good. Um, so I'm I'm pretty satisfied with that. And we have a workshop uh, available, uh, which is if you were doing Europe, you'd build these and they'd be much cheaper for you to get. But I'm not gonna be getting them. 
Fortunately, Asia and Africa uh, increased their panic because they're we a little bit. Be in touch, Commander. They're a little bit of jerks over there in the in that area. Uh, but we have a situation room now. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. So basically, whenever you launch a satellite, um, it comes them down immediately. Uh, and so the more bars they have, the more panic is basically in those countries. So, uh, in, in those continents, that is. So, you know, uh, I can do two things to reduce panic. I can either take a, a, a I can do a, a launch a satellite in the Asias or whatever. Or I don't have any satellites right now, by the way. I have, a, I have a, or like I can uh, just launch a satellite before the end of the month because that's when they determine that kind of stuff. So uh, it's kind of the new fun. engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So uh, we got more engineers, which means I am basically saving twenty-five dollars, twenty-three dollars on my um, on my satellite, and that's why I didn't get it right when you saw it because I knew I'd get some more engineers. That's what I do, and so I saved a bit of money. I have one hundred fifty-five credits. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Well, uh, not much else to hear. Oh, wow, we have like a, a treadmill going on here. So, it's kind of neat that we can kind of see everything that's happening in the XCOM head headquarters over here. And so, uh, not much else to show off. Because um, we don't have our research yet, but we can uh, continue uh, spinning the globe round and round. Where shall it stop? We will see. Research for weapon fragments completed. Okay, we have a scope ma available for manufacturing. Um, basically what that does is increases the accuracy on anyone I give it to, which is nice. So we, we have experimental warfare, which is... Uh, uh, it basically gets a, us a forge, which we can use to get more upgrades. Or I'm going to do um, alien materials. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure... Oh, whoops. I did not mean to cancel that. Uh, you can see the dialogue there. I didn't know that clicking this would actually cancel that out. Because uh, I was wanted to go over here, and I'm going to make two scopes. And one med kit. And it's for later. And anywhere else we're going to go in the world? So Triple Strike is returned to duty. And if we see a UFO. How crazy. So let's go scramble an interceptor. Uh, Raven 1 can go take him down. So, that's something you do in this game. You launch fighters to shoot down fucking FU, uh, uh, UFOs. How crazy is that? So, you, but you see that they, they would shoot down my we satellites otherwise. So I have to be very careful. But UFOs right now are very easy. Uh, as usual, all my fighters are very accurate. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Foggy 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. So we have a, a crashed uh, UFO mission, uh, but we will be doing that for next time. So as always, remember, we will be watching. <laughs>